Hello and welcome to part 7 of our Python 3 Basics tutorial series. In this video what we're going to be talking about is the if statement and we're going to continue on talking about conditional operators. So we did already cover the big lesser or uh, yeah, the lesser than and greater than signs, but there's also some other things that we need to cover like equals and less than or equal to and so on. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, uh, the if statement is pretty simple. The if statement is going to ask if something is the case, and then it's going to do something. So much like uh, the while loop, where the while loop loop is going to do something while loop, the while loop is going to do something while a condition is true. The if statement is going to do something if the condition is true. So it's only going to do it once, but basically the same sort of concept where if it is true, then it will do it. So let's go ahead and define some example variables. We'll say x. Uh, equals 2, y equals 7, and z equals 10. Now we're going to ask if x is greater than y, we're going to print um, x comma is greater than y, just like that. So let's go ahead and save and run that. And we find that nothing happens. Well, nothing happened because x is not greater than y. So instead, let us copy this and we'll paste this. And instead of greater than, we'll say less than. And instead of is greater than, we'll say less than y. And we'll save and run that again. And we do get 2 is less than 7. So this one actually did run and this because this statement was true. Now, as I said that we were going to have to cover some of the, more, the other assignment operators. So let's go ahead and do that. We can say, for example, if x equals y, we'll print um, x comma is the same as y and we use double equals here that wasn't a typo if you say for example x equals y we can run that well we know that's not going to run but if we try to say if x equals y like that we get a big old fat syntax error because this is an assignment operator not a comparison operator so instead we have to say equals equals and we'll save and run that and we get that now one question some people might have is, for example, if, let's say, um, first let's fix this, that was bothering me. Uh, let's say, so x equals 2 as an integer 2. Let's ask if x equals 2, like that. Print, uh, let's just say, print x equals the, in, or the string 2. See. run that all we get is 2 is less than 7 because x does not equal the string of 2 what if we ask though if x is less than 2 x is less than 2 excuse that beep uh, so if x is less than the string of 2 it's gonna print x is less than 2 so we'll save and run that and we get that you have unorderable types here. So we can't even, we can't do that. So we can ask if it equals equals two, but we can't ask this question because they're not even the same data type. So um, we'll just comment this out. We'll say, cannot do this. Now there are other things. So we've covered less than, greater than, equal to, but then there's also less than or equal to. So that question is the following. We could say if x is less than or equal to y, we can print x is less than or equal to y, just like that. Now we can save and run that. And let's go ahead and move this syntax error out of the way because it keeps popping up. And we can run this. And we see 2 is less than or equal to 7. No surprise. <laughs> so that's less than or equal to. You could also do greater than or equal to like that. 
And those are all of the comparison operators. Now, what if we want to get really crazy because we haven't used this variable z yet? But what we can do is we can do the following. We could say if y, let's say if z is greater than y, which is greater, which is less than, let's say if if z is greater than y, which is greater than x, we'll do this. We'll say print uh, z is greater than y, which is greater than x. Z, y, x. Right. So we can save and run that. And we get 10 is greater than 7, which is greater than 2. <clears throat> so we can actually continue this. We could actually say, uh, even though we only have three variables, we could continue this and say where x is less than z, and z is still greater than y, and so on. We could continue this, and you can make this this uh, if statement quite long. We could throw some equals in there, and so on. Uh -huh. So this can get pretty uh, hairy pretty quick, but you can do uh, whatever you uh, want with it. So that's going to conclude Chapter 7, the if statement for the Python 3 basics, as well as comparison operators. Now, while we have covered the if statement, it is actually the case that there are other statements that go along with the if statement quite often, and that is the if and then the else, and then we also have if, l if, else. So we do have some other uh, statements to cover with the if statement, and those are going to be covered in the next two chapters, so stay tuned for that.